Hey, good morning everybody. What's going on? It's Saturday for me here, so the weekend is just starting off and I want to get a little bit of, I won't call it redemption, but just some more experience in my legs climbing up this newer route of breakneck that I'm going to be using for the half marathon on these trails in just over two weeks. In my mind, this is really the hardest part of the course. It's the most climbing in the shortest distance as well as some of the quickest descents in the shortest distance. So it really puts a lot of strain on the quads. And I think that with just two weeks left until race day, this is really one of the last times I'll be able to get this work in my legs in a meaningful way that will actually absorb and give me some benefit on race day. So let's jump right into it. And then I've got a full weekend ahead of me. So since earlier this week you already saw me go up and down this section, I'm going to cut the music and just talk you through some of my thoughts as I go up here because, you know, it looks pretty scary. I can make it look pretty unique and interesting on the camera, especially with the wide angle, but it's not so bad. So I'll talk you through it. All right, so here we go. The nice thing is all of these routes, even on these rocks, have little arrows painted all over them. So that way you can see which way they recommend you go. All the New York State Park people that put stuff out here. So it's not so bad. I definitely recommend trail shoes for sure. But you can see even with one hand and some grippy shoes, it's not so bad to scale a lot of these parts of the wall. Some of them are scarier than others. There's also some spots marked like EZ for easy versus hard. And I guess during the race, ultimately you can take either one, but it just depends what you prefer. Maybe a little less steep elevation over a longer period of time, or you can go with like the really quick jumps up the rock wall where you really need to scramble. But either way, it's fun. You know, I'm just making my way through here. You can see, Last video, we went the hard route, which was like straight up these rocks, but there is an easier route where you can loop around the other side. So either one, totally okay. Again, just depends on preference. Whew. Again, you know, just steady hands, taking it slow. It's all part of the journey up here, not the real race at this point. You can race during the parts that are more trail-like. Up here, you really just wanna get up the rocks. You gotta take your time in between these harder parts to make sure you've got the energy and wherewithal to keep going up here. So don't try and run it too hard if you're ever up here. It's important to be safe. sections like this where if you can tell you kind of have to pinch your feet between two rocks it's like a big crevice so it's important to really get your foot in there get some footing we're really again borderlining on scrambling and rock climbing than running but it's a lot of fun it's just anyone can do it it's really not that bad it's why I'm trying to talk you through these parts to see like even if it looks crazy it's not that bad it's doable very doable. This part here is probably the trickiest just because of foot placement, but that's that right there. 
and then you're really home free, which is awesome. We're at the top of the first part. The last thing we do is go along that peak. You can see that's a ridge where I had a shot last week. Then you go straight up the wall to the top and you're all set. Whew, my heart rate usually goes up to like the 160s just from climbing. It's, it's hard. You just gotta pace yourself. It's really what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I'm just saying it out loud. Whew. Grippy shoes, you're all set. Understand your shoes and you'll be fine. It's a nice solid rock, which gives you a lot of grip with any kind of trail shoes out there. <sighs> There's some people on that peak where we just were. There goes the Amtrak. Just what I needed. I don't think it was even so much the uphill breakneck going up is fun, but it really is the downhill, like that like nine minute per mile clip that I'm coming down some of the groomed sections in the last like three quarter miles of a red trail, which will be part of the race. That's where I think it really kills my quad. So I just need to be careful about how fast I go down that part as much as I want to make up time because it puts in some real, you know, fatigue on the legs. But uh, I'm glad that I got to do it again because now I'm getting more and more experience. My legs are getting stronger and hopefully that helps. Now, fun fact, behind me comes a train right from Grand Central Station. So you can actually go right up to here. They put this makeshift train station in at Breakneck Ridge. That's the stop that it's called. Like I said, comes right out of New York City from Grand Central. And you can stop right here at the trailhead that I just went up. Pretty cool. Really quick while we're driving home, I will show you these stats for the run. I'll throw them up on your screen now. A pretty simple, again, just three mile loop. Lots of elevation and more importantly, lots of descent where I'm just getting those quads working and really preparing myself for the race in a few weeks. So happy about that. The weekend continues. Got to pack up a bunch of clothes and things. We've got a birthday to celebrate at my parents' house. So I'm going to meet up with my brother there. Megan's coming. Obviously my parents will be there and it's one of their birthdays. So it's a trip to Long Island for Megan and I. Put the dogs in the car, get ourselves together, and then boom, we are in Bay Port, New York. was a wet run it was raining then it wasn't so I went outside and then it was again and it was heavy and wet so 
3.1 miles today or about 5k. I'll let you check everything out on Strava. I keep my Strava in the description of every video. For the first time in a really long time now, I've crossed 25 miles for my week and that's awesome for me. I'm really happy about that because I've been dealing with these tendon issues. I've been keeping the mileage really low and now we're over 25 miles for one week for the first time in a long time and I really don't feel any pain today. So it seems that as long as I do a majority of my longer running up in the mountains, up on the trails, I'm going to start mixing in more road running again just on the easier side, the shorter side and it really seems like that will work out for me so far celebrating birthdays, getting some running in, crossing 25 miles, all in all it was a great week and we are just two weeks away from the Mount Beacon or the Breakneck Point Trail Runs Half Marathon. It's going to be a good one so subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'm soaking wet, I gotta dry off and get this Sunday started but thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.